Hello, my name is Melody, and I'm a teacher with VIP Kids. I teach English classes online from home to kids in China. I use a program called Minicam in order to have different images and graphics to show up. For example, masks, I can be a duck, quack, 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 or I could have balloons appear, or I could even give the students stars. Minicam is a great program to give digital rewards. There is a great teacher out there called Teacher Ellie who has a lot of YouTube videos about how to use Minicam. So if you're just getting started, I highly suggest you go to Teacher Ellie's YouTube channel to learn the basics of Minicam. Today, we're going to be talking about playlists. Uh, this is a little bit more of an advanced feature, so I would suggest that you kind of get a feel of how Minicam works, and then once you do that, you can go and figure out playlists. We will talk about what they are. I will show you some examples and how to create, save, and load playlists. So let's get started. Here is my desktop. You'll see here in the middle section, there is image, audio, and playlist. Currently, I'm using one screen, which has the uh, my desktop here. And I am going to go ahead and change it to picture-in-picture -picture mode. Uh, which again, you can find more about that on different YouTube videos. And I'm going to keep it here so that you can see the different images. Here is the playlist tab. Right now, there is no playlist created here. I'm going to go ahead and load a playlist, and I'll show you again how to do that a little bit later. But just to show you an example of a playlist, I'm going to pick my candy playlist. And you'll see here that all of these different images appear here at the bottom because playlists allow you to put different graphics or videos or animated images already loaded and ready to go. So all I have to do is just in one click, the images appear, which is a lot easier than trying to load each file individually or trying to take the image and make it into a different graphic. So that is the benefit of a playlist. Let me show you how I use playlist. So for example, this is how it would look in the classroom. Hello, I'm Teacher Melody. I put myself in a small picture in picture with the big area here. And I let the playlist go. And for example, I will show how to do the dino. I'll be like, this is dino. When you do a good job, you will get some candy. And then I will flip back to my main screen and I'll continue to do teaching. Teach them the alphabet or whatever the lesson is. When they've done a good job, I go back to my reward screen and I can go ahead and click on different images in my playlist. <gasps> candy is raining down, great job you get a yellow candy. And then when they do a good job, I can go to the next image, more candy raining down. And then the next image, lots of candy. So it just gives the students a lot of different encouragement, affirmation, especially for the younger ones, grabs their attention. Uh, and these are all animated images. Again, I flip back between the main screen and my reward screen. So if you'll see here in the desktop, I have four different windows. That's because I use Minicam Studio version on my Mac, which only gives me access to four screens. If you have the Enterprise version, you have access to six or 12 screens, which gives you a lot more options. But for me, the playlist uh, really helps because that way I can quickly load lots of different images since I don't have a lot of windows. Let me show you another example of using a playlist. This is a puzzle. You'll see here I have an empty puzzle. And when they do a good job, I will just click on the different images in my playlist for puzzle pieces to appear. And with the playlist, the images load a lot faster than if I were to try to search for an object or if I were to try to load each file uh, individually. And at the end, they come to a horse puzzle. And then in my playlist, I have different images loaded. 
So I can say, oh, look, the horses are playing. This is also great for fast finishers because we can have a conversation about the different animated images that I have loaded into my screen. So now I will show you how do you do these playlists. So for the first thing you'll do is I have my picture in picture here. I can go to playlist and there's a little tab here underneath the first button. You click load playlist. You'll be sure that you want to know where you save all of your playlists. I created a folder to keep it simple called playlist. I have, will click on the candy playlist and you click open and that's it. All of the images are here. Now I'll show you how to create a brand new playlist. So if you're here on your screen, you can either for my purposes, I'm doing it in this picture in picture screen. Um, but for your purposes, you could click on the gigantic screen and you'll see a green circle will appear. But then you won't be able to see it on my desktop. So I'm going to do it on this small picture in picture. I'm going to go ahead and change this to it's just the webcam by right clicking, changing the source to my webcam. So here I am. And you can see the playlist is now empty. There's nothing here except me and my webcam. The first thing I typically do is you'll want to add a new picture. So you'll click on the add button and you can click on what you want to make your first image in the playlist. For me, I often do a blank image. That way, if I load the playlist at first, a color will come up instead of a picture if I'm not ready for it. So I will go ahead and make the blank image blue. So the first picture in the uh, playlist is going to be blue. And then I'm going to add a new media file. So let's say, for example, I'm teaching a pre-VIP class about America. I will want to go ahead and go to my animated GIFs. And there's wonderful teachers out there that share their different um, files. And this teacher shared their file of some pre-VIP kid images that they've created. So I will go ahead and look for that image. It is here under pre-VIP. As you can see, I have a lot of animated GIFs here. Uh, I will click on pre-VIP Meg and Mike flying. I will open that up and you'll see I go ahead and have these images. So I can click on blue and the screen will appear. I can click on my Meg and Mike flying GIF and then you'll see that Meg and Mike is flying. It's a great way for the pre-VIP kid program. So you'll see here are, right now I only have two images. An important thing you'll need to figure out is the transition delay. So if I click on the tab here, I can go to items delay, and this basically dictates how many seconds it is before you move from one screen to the next, because it's gonna automatically play that. This item delay isn't saved into the playlist. This is for your Minicam settings. So you're basically just creating the playlist uh, one by one with six or seven or however many images you want. And then the delay feature is what you do when you turn on your Minicam and you, how you set it. So you'll want to set or check your uh, settings for the transition each time. So here in the desktop, you'll see I have, I will click on transition and let me fix the desktop so you can see it a little bit better. So you'll click on the load playlist towards the bottom. You might not be able to see it very well, but at the bottom there the, it says items delay and you can click on custom. Once you click on custom, you can say how many seconds. Sometimes I'll make it to like 800 seconds because I want to not have the computer set it for it itself, I want to be able to dictate when we move to the next button. So that is how we make our playlist. And again, you can have as many images as you want. So I can go ahead and click, I can add another animated gift. And let's say, for example, I know that my friends are interested in tigers. I could go ahead and add an image of a tiger running. So you can do it per class or per lesson. It's just whatever you would like it to be. Once you have your playlist created, you can click on the first button again. Let me. 
and you can click Save Playlist. You'll then make the title, for example, if this is pre-VIP and this is my test file, I'll go ahead and save it. And then it's there for future reference. So if I want to uh, close it out and tomorrow I can come back in, all of my playlists are saved right there on my hard drive. So it is just so helpful. So as you see, uh, let me go over it one more time. To open your playlist, you'll click on that first button and you will click Load Playlist. You will then be able to go to your folder and click on the different playlists you created. So let me show you the one for Pre-VIP USA lesson. So I can click on the first one and you'll see my uh, Megan Mike Flying appears. I can also show an animated VIP GIF about making a hot dog or about the bus going up and down. I can also show the whole entire video of the Meg VIP song Mike by loading that in. in I have the a little bit of issue with the sound. I can have the images appear, but I have a hard time having sound appear. There are a lot of other great teachers there that have fixed the sound issue, so you can research um, into that to see if you can get the sound of videos to show in the classroom. But that's not something I've been able to easily solve. Another great thing you can do with playlists is when you, you can add anything. You could also add a YouTube uh, URL. So let me show you how to do that. You'll do the same thing. Let's create a new playlist. I'll click on the first tab and I'll click Clear Playlist. So now I'm back to square one. I can click Add. And then at the bottom here, let's see if you can see it. Uh, it's hard to show in your, the desktop area here, but it is there is an item that says YouTube URL. You'll click on the YouTube URL, and then you can type in or copy and paste. So this is a YouTube uh, link that I've copied earlier, and I go ahead and copy it into this section. Sometimes the YouTube links, depending on your internet connection, doesn't work very well. So I found that this is a great way if it works, um, but it really depends on your internet connection. Um, but that's just an option that you could go ahead and load different YouTube links into your playlist. Um, again, the YouTube links don't work for me as well as actual doing animated GIFs. So that's what I would suggest for you. So anyway, that is my summary of how to use playlists. I hope this just gives you a good idea of what you can do with it. Um, again, I would suggest you go to Teacher Ellie's videos for more information about how to use Minicam. There is also a website called animatedimages.org, which is a great way to get different um, free animated images. And that is all I have for you today. Have a great time teaching. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.